So in the previous video we looked at deriving the actual values of the steady state um, capital per worker and output per worker and we noticed that that depends on a number of parameters including the depreciation rate, the productivity parameter and so on. But what happens if we change those parameters? Well clearly the steady state changes. So we'll go back to this diagram that we had before that shows just investment and depreciation. So we have our SFK graph which shows investment and our depreciation graph which is given by sigma 1k. So the reason I've subscripted our sigma there with sigma 1 is that we're going to change the depreciation rate. We're going to increase it. And if we increase the depreciation rate, what we do is we shift the depreciation curve around here to a point that looks something like this. Uh, so let me just run this and we'll call this sigma 2k. So we have sigma 1 is less than sigma 2. Increasing the depreciation rate just moves this depreciation curve. This should be fairly simple to understand that so these curves are just a linear function and because our x-axis is k we, we simply just have a curve like you would maybe see this as y equals mx uh, in as just the normal equation of a line but here we have our parameter sigma uh, but the depreciation parameter increases from sigma 1 to sigma 2. So this shifts the curve round and we have a different point of intersection here which gives us a new level of steady, steady state. If you remember our steady state is given when investment, which is SFK, is equal to depreciation. So originally this was equal to sigma 1k but our depreciation has increased so we have a new steady state. Our steady state moves down, steady state decreases. Uh, and if we look, if we were originally at k1 star, uh, now after we have changed, after we've changed the depreciation rate, we have now got depreciation given by this sigma 2k curve, and investment is given down here, in, and depreciation. So clearly depreciation is higher than investment at k1 star so the capital stock is de going to decline and it's going to keep declining until we get to the new steady state where investment equals depreciation quite simple so a change in depreciation changes the slope of the depreciation curve if we increase depreciation we get a steeper curve if we decrease depreciation we get a flatter curve uh, that can just be shown if we moved from sigma 2k back to sigma 1k that would be decreasing the depreciation rate and that increases the steady, steady state. Can we now use the, show this algebraically? Uh, if you remember our k star is given by this equation, our a bar parameter, it depends on alpha, the savings rate, depreciation rate and again an alpha. So what have we changed? We have changed this uh, depreciation parameter. So what we've done is we've increased depreciation and as you can see this is the denominator of this equation. So if you increase depreciation that is going to lead to a decline in K star and obviously decreasing depreciation will increase K star. So, very simple, that is what a change in the depreciation rate does to the steady state. So, that will do it for this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more and check out the playlist. As always, to check out the next video, we'll be looking at an increase in the savings rate. What happens then to our steady state? Uh, if this was at all useful, make sure to leave a like. This is meant to be a thumbs up. And yeah, subscribe, check out the other videos.